Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. So this is just a really quick tutorial on some sweet poppy stencils. I've recently bought some and oh look there's just so many. I don't know whether you can actually see them very well. There's like a deer. I wonder if I take them out. There we go. You can see them better then. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's so many different ones that they have. There's some rabbits, butterflies, deers. This is a sweetie. So some of these are divine, uh, designed by um, Tracy Dutton from Lavinia. This is a nice one. I think this was one of last year's, as long with the snow globe. So it's snow globe, I've done, that's one I've done with the snow globe. And that's one I've done with the, that ball ball. And this one is the one that we're going to do today. Only I'm going to do different colours or different picture anyway, so... I'll show you how I do it and they are so easy. So what I've got here is I've got my card that I want to decorate is underneath this. And then I have put some low tack adhesive around there to protect the edge of the card and to hold it all in place. So to start off with, we're going to use Versifying Claire and I'm going to use Tulip Red to do the stenciling now with the sweet poppy stencils because of all the fine detail these are a metal die and they are so fine don't use foam when you're blending use a soft bristled brush otherwise you'll bend all the little fine intricate bits and you don't want to do that so we'll put some ink on here and I'm just going to rub off the excess because I don't want it too overpowering and then just gently in a circular motion I'm going over the whole stencil now it's all it's best to just do a little bit of color at a time because you can always come back and make it darker and it's too hard to remove it once you've made it too dark so less is best now I'll just go around it a bit more So quick and easy to do. I'm not going to do the centre part real red, but I wanted to have a slight variation. So that's the stenciling part done. So now we'll lift it off. This is pretty good. This is a uh, not Lavinia, um, a sweet poppy um, low tack tape which is really good for this. Now, so now we lift the stencil off the card and there it is. Now, when you're cleaning these off, just try and run them under water. Again, don't rub them with anything or you'll hook onto the little fine bits and bend them when you're trying to clean it. So if you can just do it with water, which is the best way to do it, and then pat them dry. Don't, yeah, don't rub them or you can damage them. Okay, so that's that part done. Now, I'm going to get my trusty little stamp press or platform, whatever you want to call them. And I'll just pop that into place. Now, I like my stamping platform because at least if it doesn't stamp the first time properly, I can do it again in the same spot. I'm going to be using Lavinia stamps. So this is called Fir Tree One and this is Mini Pippin. So we're going to pop the tree about then actually if you so if you use your acetate you can work out what it's going to look like on there. I don't reckon yet we'll do it about there. And I'm going to be stamping Again, with Versifying Claire in Nocturne. I love the Versifying Claire's for stamping with. 
go and just ink up the stamp and stamp it. Make sure you allow time for the card to soak in the ink. A lot of people just press it and lift it and don't leave it long enough. There we go. Just pop that aside. And now we're going to do Pippin. So we'll do him about there and he can be looking up at the tree. So we'll sit him there. And ink him up. I think this is probably one of my most used stamps, is little Pippin. He's so cute. There we go. How easy is that? Now, just move that out of the way. Oops, a bit of card again. I'm just going to go around the edges with a bit of red. You could use another colour if you like, but given it's a Christmas card, we'll stick to red. Again, you don't want too bright. I'm just doing a faint coverage around it. These brushes are great. They're nice and soft. They're really good for blending inks. There we go. And then using, again, VersaFine Clear Twilight, I'm just going to tear off a bit of my, my paper here. I'm going to use that as a mask to do some grounding, just so the tree and Pippin don't look like they're floating in midair. So we'll just pop a bit there and just flick a bit of colour downwards. So just grounding them and a little bit around the tree. There we go. So it stops them floating down. It looks like they're in a bit of ground. So now, earlier on, I'd prepared a bit of card to attach it to. So I'm just going to attach it to this card. Now, I haven't given dimensions, only because depending on the size stencil you're using will depend on the size card you need. So you will obviously cut the card to suit the stencil size that you're doing and we'll just pop that in place now with the next step what I'm going to do is add some shine and glitter so using a quickie glue pen I'll just Get it going. There we go. And we'll put a little bit of glitter on the ground. And then we'll put some glitter in the circles of the poinsettias. Oh, by the way, this one's called um, poinsettia bauble, this particular um, stencil. There we go. That'll probably do it. Now I'll just pop some glitter wherever I've put the glue. Can you see the glitter on there? I'm not sure if you can actually see it. Anyway. Just pop this away before I spill it everywhere. And using some red stickles, I'm going to pop some red glitter dots on top of the um, 
red berries on the, from the stencil. Uh, while I'm doing this, um, I do have a Facebook page called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. I'll add the link in the description to it. And if you'd like to join, you're more than welcome to join. And you can share creations that you've made from these tutorials or you can share anything you like. It does not have to be from my tutorials. We're not limited to brands. You can use any brand stuff that you like, which makes it good because it gives you a lot more range to be able to work with. And then we'll pop some onto the big ones as well. So we'll just move it around a bit. I like glitter. I think sometimes I can overdo it too. Here we go. And then, um, do we need any more or is that enough? Yeah, that'd probably do it. So you can see the glitter there. You can, if you want to, add dots around of uh, glue and then put the glitter on it to um, like give it like a snow effect if you wanted to. But I think that's enough. We'll leave that one as it is. But that is so easy to do. And you don't have to use the brand stencils I'm using either. You can use any stencils at all and just decorate them however you feel with whatever you've got in your stash. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll just bring these ones in so you can see them again. And there's the other one I did a bit earlier. I don't know if we can get that into shot, but never mind. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you've liked this, please do give me the thumbs up and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my tutorials as I do them. And please feel free to join me on my Facebook page. Thank you for joining me. Bye.